Okay. So moving forward with the next thing, okay, which is Fibonacci number. So basically, uh, what will happen? These are the some sequences. Okay. Now, uh, how to uh, do it in the coding approach? Okay. How to write the piece of code for it? Okay. Simple. So let me write the piece of code for it, and then let's uh, discuss if you have any doubt regarding it. Okay. So. Uh, in the Fibonacci series, you should remember the pattern only. If if we, someone asks you Fibonacci or Fibonacci series, right? You should remember the pattern that is. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, how Fibonacci sequence works. Okay. Um, and there are some other terms, uh, Catalan uh, number and all those. Okay. We will see all of those uh, things also in the upcoming uh, sections. Okay. So moving forward with the next thing. Okay. Which is Fibonacci number. Now there is a lot of problems getting asked on the Fibonacci and there is a other sequences. Okay. So we'll cover all those sequences. So basically, uh, what will happen? These are the some sequences, okay, or some patterns we have, and there are a lot of problems which are uh, directly don't appear to be a pattern problem. We are don't, directly don't appear to be deriving to a pattern, but indirectly they are changing to that pattern, and that becomes a pattern problem kind of thing. Okay, we'll see. Like uh, it's okay if you're not understanding uh, the pattern and problem, then it's okay, not an issue, right? Okay, so uh, <clears throat> starting with the uh, Fibonacci series, okay, uh, understanding what is Fibonacci and uh, uh, how that Fibonacci works. Okay. So, um, so it's, it's kind of a, a pattern or a Fibonacci, uh, uh, series that we have, right. So in the real world or, uh, somewhere we have a Fibonacci patterns also some flowers having, uh, petals, which is following the Fibonacci pattern, right. Number of petals starting from the bottom. So if something like that, okay, if this is, uh, one area, so here we have only, uh, one petal. Okay. Now outside this, we might have, um, uh, uh, three petals. Okay. And inside this, again, we will have, uh, something called this one, right? So one petal, right? So here could have two petals, right? Something like, so this way, how the uh, flower originates, right? So, uh, this could be, um, some extra petals in this, right? So that's a, a Fibonacci pattern that a flower follows, I would say. Okay. Um, <coughs> exactly. I'm not sure which, fo which flower follows, but yeah. Okay. So it's kind of a sequence that we have. Okay. So, uh, Fibonacci sequence, uh, is basically uh, tells you that each term, okay, here, if you, uh, define this, so Fibonacci sequence is basically it start with zero. Okay. And the next value. So these are called the seed values. The first value is called the seed values. These are fixed. Okay. And the next values is the summation of previous two values. Okay. So this is zero, one, 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 two, one, two, three, two, three, five. Okay. Three, five, um, eight, right. Five, eight, 13. This way, how Fibonacci, uh, sequence looks like. Okay. So each term is basically each term is sum of previous two terms. Okay. If we write in the formula somewhere, it's like, so it would be like F of N that is Nth Fibonacci number will be N minus one plus F of N minus two. Okay. This is a uh, Fibonacci number that is uh, Nth Fibonacci number will be the summation of previous two terms. Okay. So this is the Fibonacci sequence. Okay. And uh, how this works. Okay. Now, uh, how to uh, do it in the coding approach, okay? How to write the piece of code for it, okay? Simple. So basically, we'll start with two values, okay? We will uh, start with two values. A is equal to zero. B is equal to one, okay? Now, to get the next value, to get the next value, simply what we can do here is, we can do the summation of these two. Do the summation of these two, okay? C is equal to A plus B. Now, the value of C becomes A, uh, one, correct? <coughs> now, this is the uh, next value, right? whatever value we need, right? Okay. So this is a uh, first number. This is second. This is third. Okay. This is third number. Okay. Now for the next value, we want to again do the summation. So before doing the summation, we have to again update the value of a and b, right? So a, which is the previous one should become b and the b should become c here. Now then again, we can do c is equal to a plus b. And that's what we have to do it here. Okay. Simple. Uh, every time we initialize a, a and b initially, right? And then keep on updating uh, c as a plus b. And again, update AB uh, uh, with value of VNC and then again, keep on updating. So let me write the piece of code for it. And then let's uh, discuss if you have any doubt regarding it. Okay. So uh, public static void and it Fibonacci. It's called Fibonacci or Fibonacci something. Okay. Some people call it Fibonacci. Some people call it Fibonacci, right? So uh, we'll initialize the value. So this isn't a complete code. Okay. So we'll initialize the value of A which is the first statement, uh, B, which is the second, uh, second one. Okay. Now we start with uh, two here because these are the first one, right? These are the two, right? We'll go from I equal to two to the nth value that we are able, we are able to find. And 
every time we keep on adding value c here okay c is equal to a plus b and every time we keep on updating uh, this previous to the next value b b to the c and print the last value that is uh, nth fibonacci number so the nth fibonacci number will be here with c also okay so initially we can put t is equal to zero okay so if i call nth fibonacci to the value of four so this gives me uh three okay uh it's it gives me three so it's one two three four okay or if we talk about the indexes so it's zero one two three four okay so here uh n four means we want to find the fifth fibonacci number okay so if we reduce it to this i think we will be getting the correct one okay so the fourth one we got one two three four okay so if we write uh when fibonacci number so one two three four five six seven seven fibonacci number is eight we got the eight here right and generally eight fibonacci number is 13 okay so we got the 13 is the fibonacci number okay okay so yeah so uh, in the fibonacci series you should remember the pattern only if, if we someone asks you fibonacci or fibonacci series right you should remember the pattern that is the each term is the summation of last two terms and the last two terms are 0 and 1 simple. Uh, the, the first two terms, the seed values we say are 0 and 1. So this is called, these are called seed values, which we feed as a seed initially, right? And then we keep on generating the uh, sequence, okay? So it's called Fibonacci sequence. So once we start with the recursive code, we will uh, discuss uh, how we can um, um, do Fibonacci series in the recursive manner, okay? So uh, yeah, that's uh, how Fibonacci sequence works, okay? Um, and there are some other terms, uh, Catalian uh, number and all those, okay? We will see all of those uh, things also in the upcoming uh, sections. And there are a lot of problems getting asked on the Catalian number in the recent days. So I will cover those also. So yeah, that's how Fibonacci uh, uh, sequence works, okay? Uh, you can do it with the two variables also uh, using this thing, okay?